Hi guys, so I have been sent something quite exciting to review. Well, I think it's exciting anyway. Anyone who likes Christmas might think it's exciting. So this is a gifted kind of paid ad thing, I suppose. Um, I was gifted the item, I haven't been paid for the video. But it's called the Reindeer Feeder. You might have seen the trailer that I put up for it previously. I'm aware this is just an empty box. I'll show you the item in a minute. Um, so this is what I'm reviewing. Included in this box is a authentic, I might say this really wrong, an authentic Shrewman, Shrewman? Um, the Reindeer Feeder Storybook, which is brilliant and a must read for all kids. A reusable window sticker. Right, this is missing out of my kit, so I can't actually show you it, but I have contacted the people at Reindeer Feeder, so I'm hoping I can get a replacement. But it does show you what it should be on the box, so I'll show you that. Um, a carrot sack and a feeder license. Right, so before I forget, the reindeer window sticker should look like this. Or like this, I'm not sure, one of them. And they say that after centuries of being left behind in the North Pole, the Shroomans are coming to humans' homes to help Santa on the most important night of the year, Christmas Eve. After letting Santa know it's safe to come down the chimney, off they pop up the roof to feed the reindeer with the carrots you left out. And apparently, oh, where did I see it? Might be on the back. I can't remember where I saw it, but I saw it somewhere that you should keep the box because they're gonna really small and then it becomes like a little city. And also you store your shrewman in the box um, for the rest of the year. But, right, let's get to the important bit. And this is the storybook. It is the most adorable thing I have ever seen. I have read it to Ethan this year and he absolutely loved it. I'm not gonna store, story the spoil. I'm not gonna spoil the story. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you some of the illustrations. I just think they're so cute. It's quite long. It did take Ethan two nights to sit kind of through it because he's a bit fidget. But if you think this is cute, then let me show you what the Shrewman looks like. Okay, so that's the little storybook. And this is the Shrewman, the license and the feeding bag. We kept it all among so we didn't want to lose them. Like he is so cute, like so cute. It's like a little gonk or, um, oh, what's my mum call them? A Nordic thingy, I can't remember what she calls it. I call it a gonk. Stacey Solomon calls it a gonk, it is called a gonk. Um, but yeah, Stacey Solomon also has one. She posted it on her stories on Christmas Eve. These do come apart, they're just attached with um, little plastic I don't know what they're called, plastic tag things. Um, but yeah, so you've got the little reindeer license, which I can't see what I'm doing on camera, so I hope that's in shot. The bag for the carrots, which I've made sure is now empty because I do not want to come back to this next year and it be mouldy. And our little gonk. So we actually didn't feed, feed our license... Oh. We didn't fill in our reindeer feeder license thing this year because we couldn't decide what to call him. So we need a name and then also our roof address, which obviously I haven't filled in because it's, I knew I was going to show you guys, and a signature. So how about you give us some suggestions for the name for this little chap? I don't know. I feel like he should be called like Norman or, I don't know, Frederick or something. Uh, but what would you like to name him? Comment below if you've got any ideas. But yeah, so this is our reindeer feeder. Hang on a second. Sorry, need a drink. I've got a really dry throat today. Yeah, so this is our reindeer feeder and I absolutely love him. He's brilliant. And because we've got a cat, I don't like leaving the carrots and stuff on the floor. So it's perfect to pop them in a little bag. And we left this right next to our tree. You meant to leave it on your mantelpiece, but we don't have one. So I left it by the tree. And yeah, he's so soft and gorgeous and he's gonna become part of the yearly traditions now for our little family. But I can't wait to get the window sticker to put it up. Obviously next year, it says it's reusable, so it can be obviously taken off and put up every year if you want to, so you don't have to. But I really think these are gonna properly kick off next year, so I'm so glad I'm in on it early. And as I said, this box, you keep it, you store them in it. And I can't remember where I saw it. 
it might have even been in the press sample I was sent um, but yeah they're gonna do other little houses with other little people in it so it become a little village which I just think is such a cute idea so you can find them on Facebook and Instagram and it's parents who run this it was a parent idea it's a small business it's not very big probably got a lot bigger since Stacey Solomon suggested them but yeah I just absolutely love it I just think it's such a cute little idea even the drawing of it's cute like yeah it's just cute so 100% would recommend you getting your hands on a reindeer feeder for next year or get it now put it away for next year I whatever you want to do but yeah 100% not just because I've been sent him because I've been gifted him it's not at all I saw them on Instagram before I got asked to review it and I just love him if you want full details I will put the link below for where you can buy him and then there will be a blog post up as well giving you some more details about how big he is price etc etc just see if I can even find the information about the fact that they said they were going to do a village maybe I imagined it Maybe it was a dream. No, I'm pretty sure they said they were going to do a village. Anyway, either way, I'll put it in a blog post. But I will put the link in the little box below that says where you can purchase it. But yeah, so if you've got any name suggestions for him, make sure you comment below. And obviously subscribe for all the new videos. I'm going to try, fingers crossed, and stick to the schedule of every Wednesday at 8 o'clock for as long as I can. If there's any extra videos, they'll be uploaded on a Friday again, eight o'clock in the evening, because it gives me time. As simple as that. So, right, I will see you guys soon. I hope you have a lovely Christmas, or if you're watching this after, I hope you had a lovely Christmas, and I will see you guys again soon. Right, bye.